Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on an HP laptop. If you're getting this pixel little line, fuzzy colors and a cracked screen, then more likely you do need a screen replacement. This HP laptop is a touchscreen, as you can see that um, the touchscreen works and I'll be doing a screen replacement from start to an end. I'm going to press and hold the power button until the computer shuts off. Okay, I'll go ahead and disconnect the uh, cable. If you're not sure which model it is, go ahead and identify your HP computer by turning it in the back of your laptop. You should be able to see the little fine print. They say HP laptop model 15-DY. 2045NR. That is the model of this laptop here. Do I need to disconnect the battery? Well, it is recommended to disconnect the battery, but for my case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go straight in and replace the LCD screen. But you should, you should go ahead and disconnect the battery. How to do that? Well, I'm just going to quickly walk you through. You got to remove the rubber here. Once you remove the rubber, there should be two or three screws hidden underneath the rubber. Same for the bottom here. You remove the rubber and the two screws. Remove the screws, remove the back cover. You should be able to see a big uh, square battery. And remove the connector and you should be fine with it. All right, let's just jump right into the screen replacement. We are going to use a metal prying tool. What I like to do is go underneath the bezel. The bezel is somewhat adhesive as well as the clipper clipping onto it. So you might want to get underneath and do a little prying. Okay, try not to pry too hard because you do not want to break the bezel and spend more money for the replacement. All right, if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen and the tools, go ahead and check the link down description below. I will link you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen as well as the tools for this repair. I think the cost of this is probably maybe about $75 for the screen. Uh, for the entire repair, I mean. So here, when it comes to the very bottom, uh, it's a lot stickier than the top because the bottom has more adhesive. You might want to be very gentle when you go ahead and pry it open. You see that white tape, that is white adhesive tape that is being glued. You're holding down the bezel. All you have to do is just kind of run across the uh, the bezel and cut that adhesive tape. All right, at this point, I have removed the the side of it. I will try to remove the bottom part here. Just that little line from the screen. So kind of just try it open gently. And it comes out as the entire piece of it. Okay. And now you can simply free up the bezel. Just like that. All right. Once you have done with that process, put them on the side. We want to go ahead and pull that little tape. So there's this tape here hidden underneath. Where is that little tape? Oh, 
I only see one tape here. For some reason, my screen, the adhesive tape is, is not showing. So the screen has this double-sided tape that is taping down on the side of the screen, the back of the side of the screen, where you need to pull that tape so that you can get the screen uh, removed. But for some reason, I do not see the tape. What happened to that, to that thing that you can pull? You should be able to pull that tape. Ah, HP. Why are you doing this to me? I see something here on the side, but I just couldn't get it. Okay, I'm just going to use slightly force. To see where is that little tape. Yeah, I do see that little tape right there. If you can see the black tape, it is taping down to the other side of it. So I'm going to peel slice it in. Now I can just pull it. All right, once you pull that, that uh, double-sided adhesive tape, then the screen will just come loose. I'm gonna do the same on this side. It's gonna, they usually have like a little gap, extra, extra tape where you can pull it off from the bottom, not from the top. But for some reason, I do not get it. So I'm using a little force, little force here to get into that tape. Okay, now you're holding the screen or the tip is coming up. Okay. And then gently just lay it down towards your body. Oh, that took me a while. Um, again, it should be at the bottom here where you can see that little pool allows you to pull the tape. But I guess for my case, it is not at the bottom. All right, the next step is to make sure you peel that little tape here exposing the connector do not use the metal connector always use a plastic because we did not remove the battery so kind of push that connector back and slide the lcd screen away and the entire screen will just come right off if you're not sure where to buy the screen look out for the model here the nt156 whm t03 version 8.1 or check the link down description below I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen. All right, so this is my replacement screen. Um, it's a full assembly. I'm just going to connect it back together. 
So make sure the clipper is open, slide it 40 pin connector, and this is a touch screen. Reminder, this is a touch screen again. And then kind of pull, tuck it all the way in, making sure all the way, and then close that clipper. Use the tape, re-tape it back again. Now the secret part here is you need to buy additional double-sided tape. This is the adhesive double-sided tape where you need to re-tape it and glue the LCD back together. So I'm going to stick slightly a little bit longer than the screen so that the next person should be able to uh, find that tape and, and remove it. Okay. Same thing for the other side, slightly longer, not too long, but just slightly longer. Tip it down. This is a five millimeter, five mm, the thickness of the double-sided tape. Okay, once you have done with that process, go ahead and remove the peel of the tape. Lift up the screen and tip it back together, just like such. Okay, just kind of tip it back together. Okay, here comes the bezel. Slide it in. But before I do that, I want to make sure that this thing is going to go back together, okay? So the flat part should be facing the bottom. The kind of like the uh, blue nose, the oval shape should be facing on the top. So what I like to do is to slide it in from the bottom here. Maybe from the top, whichever way is easier. Let me find an easier way for you first. Maybe, maybe slide this one in. Okay, probably you have to slide it in first. Okay, so you need to slide it in from the top. Once you slide it in first from the top, then you come down with the bezel. And this is all about clipping it back together. Just a puzzle that making it clip back together. Like such. Okay. And clip it before you making sure that you make sure you peel this thing off. 
Turn on the computer. Hopefully there's still battery in it. No, just plug this one in. Turn the computer on. Click the bezel back together. Okay, I should have a working screen without any problem. So updates underway, keep the computer plugged in. Okay, so the bezel, you just have to clip it back together, pr pressing it down. And that should be it. I'm just waiting for the screen to restart. And again, if you do find this video is helpful or I'm asking you just smash the like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And again, if you want to show appreciation to me, um, there is a super thank on the YouTube. A super thanks allow you to to uh, you know, donate some money and whatnot. So um, when you if you want to show appreciation, I really appreciate you for doing that. Uh, click on the super thanks, and that would really help me to grow my channel. And uh, again, thanks for the donation. So here you go. The screen re is repaired. It's all good to go. Uh, touch screen works fine. And yep, everything is good. So I'm going to do a shutdown here. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.